In this video, I want to take a look at how you can use a parameter in Tableau to swap between different sheets and different charts. This video is a re-recording of a video I created about four years ago. Uh, Tableau has changed since, so I want to re-record it. So at the moment, I am using Tableau version 2020.1, which is as at the time of recording the latest version available. Now, in order to set this up, I'm going to connect to um, the sample Superstore data set. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to create two sheets, each with a different chart. The ID being that we can then swap with the parameter between the different charts on the dashboard. So I'm going to create one sheet and in there I want to see a line chart. So I'm going to build a line chart by using the order date by continuous month and I want to look at my sales over time. The next sheet that I want to build is a scatter plot. And in this scatter plot, I want to compare my profits versus my sales for say all of my customers in my data set. Now I have two sheets and ideally what I would like to do is to give the user the option to either select the scatter plot or the line chart on the dashboard. This will save up space, but also depends on which user uses the dashboard. They can swap and get insights from the different charts. In order to do that, I now need to create a parameter. So I'm gonna create a parameter. I'm gonna call this select a chart. The data type is gonna be a string and the user will be able to select from a list. They can select between the line and between the scatter, okay? between the line and the scatter. Those are the two options. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, the second step after I've created the parameter is to reference the parameter in a calculated field. So I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call this selected chart. And in here, I need to use my parameter nothing more. It's just going to select a chart. Hit OK. I'm going to drag this one to filters in order to apply the filtering from the parameter. And this is the line. I don't want to see the line when, um, when the scatter plot is there. So I'm going to exclude the line here. So this sheet disappears. If I go to this um, sheet, I'm going to bring in my selected chart filter and whenever the parameter is online I want to see this sheet so I'm gonna hit OK here. The last step is to combine this and put it together in a dashboard. I'm gonna create a new dashboard and I'm gonna drag in a container. In that container I need to bring in both of my charts. I'm gonna drag my line chart in this which we can see. I'm gonna drag my scatter plot in which I'm gonna put here at the bottom. And that's the one that at the moment is not visible. I'm going to hide the titles because that allows the chart to take up the full width and height of the container. The last step is then to show the parameter control for the selected chart. And now if I select my scatter, we see the scatter plot. If I then change back to line, we can see the line chart.